There's no debate about it. The nation that will rule the skies of tomorrow must have a sixth generation fighter. Japan wants to be that nation. Backed by a $4.3 trillion economy, the fourth largest in the world, Japan is investing the heaviest of resources to bring their sixth generation fighter to life, even if that means raising the legendary YF-23 from the dead. The YF-23 was a fighter ahead of its time, so ahead of its time that it was misunderstood enough to be thrown in the graveyard. But now it's back to tell its tale and help Japan wield a sixth generation fighter. To understand why the YF-23 is the fighter of choice of the hundreds of fighters built in history, we must travel back to where it all began. The face-off between the YF-23 and the F-22 Raptor. YF-23 vs F-22 Raptor Today the F-22 Raptor is a household name, the world's first fifth-generation fighter and the most lethal air superiority fighter to ever fly in any air force across the globe. But before the F-22 Raptor could become the F-22 Raptor, when it was still codenamed YF-22, it had to face off against its toughest opponent yet, the YF-23. The face-off took place in the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, an $86 billion program launched in 1981 to devise a method to put an end to Soviet air dominance at the time. The devised method would be a brand new fighter that can defeat both the Sukhoi Su-27 and the Mikoyan MiG-29 fighters of the Soviets. The Advanced Tactical Fighter Program put the largest defense contractors on the planet in a head-to-head -head against one another as they each proposed their fighters to the U.S. Air Force. After filtering out the less impressive offerings, the YF-22 from Lockheed Martin and YF-23 from Northrop Grumman stood tall as the last two remaining. Both of these fighters were impressive and checked the U.S. Air Force's boxes to satisfaction. But there could only be one. The YF-22 and YF-23 then flew off against each other to make the Air Force's decision easier. Of course, since the F-22 Raptor's in service and not an F-23 Raptor, we know who won the fly-off, but it isn't that straightforward. You see, the YF-23 actually won more categories than the YF-22 during the fly-off. It demonstrated superior supercruise abilities over the YF-22 as it flew at supersonic speeds longer than the Lockheed fighter did. The YF-23 also had a greater range and better stealth. After all, the YF-23 was built by the same company that built the B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider, the stealthiest jets in history. However, while stealth is no doubt the holy grail of fighter jet technology today, it wasn't as sought after back then. The Air Force was intent on agility and maneuverability at the time because that's what won dogfights, and dogfights were how fighters achieved air superiority back in the 1900s. The YF-22 was the better dogfighter, and so it won the competition. But dogfights quickly became a thing of the past. In fact, the F-22 has never been involved in a dogfight since it entered service in 2005, almost two decades ago. So if dogfights went obsolete only a few years earlier, would the U.S. Air Force have preferred the YF-23? Would the YF-23 have won the Advanced Tactical Fighter competition? Is the YF-23 the most advanced fighter the world has ever seen? Japan seems to think so, as the country summons the YF-23 from the grave to feature not in a fifth-generation fighter program, but its new, groundbreaking, sixth-generation fighter program known as the FX program. The FX program is a $40 billion program by the Japanese government designed to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet capable of regularly conducting air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, as well as performing other roles such as intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. To achieve this, the fighter must be survivable in various terrains, be capable of extending supercruise flights, be fairly easy to maintain, and have a level of stealth only expected of spy planes and bombers. All of these capabilities that can already be found on the YF-23. So it's no surprise that Japan is reportedly very interested in the fighter. With the YF-23 in the program, the resulting sixth-generation fighter of the Japanese Air Force would be so capable it would have almost nothing to worry about in the sky because it'll wield the following capabilities. 3. All-Round Stealth 
A stealthy fighter is one that's difficult to spot by radar and radio systems. Such a fighter would be capable of penetrating deep into enemy airspace undetected. To achieve this, the FX fighter could minimize its reflection of radar and radio waves and prevent the detection of its own radar emissions. To minimize radar waves reflection, the fighter will feature an internal weapons bay and a propulsion system in serpentine air ducts coated with carbon-based electromagnetic wave absorbers. To prevent radio wave reflection, the fighter will employ plasma stealth antenna technology that exploits the characteristics of plasma to change its physical properties through electrical control. In addition, the fighter will use metamaterials consisting of various materials including small pieces of metals and dielectric applied on the pulse Doppler system. To prevent detection by its own radar emissions, the FX fighter will be capable of passive detection, which allows the fighter to detect threats without directly releasing radar waves. 2. Powerful Propulsion System The FX's agility and super maneuverability is heavily dependent on its propulsion system being powerful. So Japan's on a quest for the most powerful of all. The country is in talks with British manufacturer Rolls-Royce to deliver a propulsion system fit for a sixth-generation fighter. And while that takes shape, the FX is slated to be powered by two thrust vectoring XF9 engines, each providing 24,000 pound-feet of thrust dry and 33,000 pound-feet with afterburner, with further development on the engines ongoing to get each to produce up to 44,000 pound-feet of thrust. The XF9 slim size relative to its power also allows for more room to hold internal weapons and preserve stealth without having to trade off any significant thrust or power. And in terms of power, each XF9 outputs a heavy 180 kilowatts, giving the FX a total combined power of 360 kilowatts, more than enough power to feed the fighter's actuators, avionics, other equipment, and maybe even the world. 1. Lethal Armament Thanks to a large size and spacious insides, the FX can carry a cocktail of up to six different types of weapons internally. These weapons include the latest gun rounds, missiles, and bombs that the Japanese Air Force can get its hands on. More unusually, the FX may wield a laser-directed energy weapon to disrupt incoming threats, either by destroying them or by blinding their sensors. To top these all off, the FX will also be accompanied by loyal wingman drones on missions, these drones would be capable of taking on simple and advanced side tasks. From carrying sensors that scout for targets to taking a hit meant for the manned fighter, this allows the manned FX fighter to focus on more major tasks and minimizes the risk to the fighter's pilot. All of these capabilities, from stealth to an entire array of lethal weapons, are what Japan would use to dominate the skies of the future and counter the constant threats of China and Russia. Except that China and Russia are both building sixth-generation fighter beasts of their own, war machines taking shape to be the FX's greatest rivals. FX's Greatest Rivals Japan does not get along well with China, and thanks to its alliance with the US, it doesn't get along well with Russia either. China and Russia, two world powers, are therefore two of the greatest threats to Japan and they're about to get even more threatening with their 6th generation fighters. China's 6th generation fighter Dr. Wang Haifeng, chief designer of the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, announced that China had begun pre-research on 6th generation aircraft in January 2019, predicting that the program would come to fruition by 2035. Similarly to other countries building 6th generation fighters, China's fighter will build on fifth-generation technology that's been perfected over the years. For China, this fifth-generation testbed is the J-20, China's most capable fighter jet ever. Russia's sixth-generation fighter The Russian MiG-41, under development by Mikoyan, is a heavy fighter reportedly designed for long-range interception to prevent rivals from even a semblance of air superiority. To ensure the MiG-41 comes out on top against its rivals, the Director General of Mikoyan, Ilya Tarasenko, speculated that powered by the Isdel A-30 engines currently under development, the fighter would be capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 4.3. It'll be equipped with an anti-missile laser, it'll be able to operate at altitudes that border on space, and it could be operated remotely. 
These are in addition to the more expected features such as a large airframe, loyal wingman, and highly advanced electronic warfare countermeasures, among others. Japan's up against rivals powerful enough to destroy entire countries. With laser focus on being able to protect the Japanese people, the nation's military and government are working heavily on a sixth-generation fighter that deters threats or eliminates them should deterrence fail. This fighter should enter service in the coming decade or two, but to see it sooner, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.